conical flask, guys. We have the conical flask. The conical flask, by the way, is filled with air. So we need to measure the, the volume of the air inside. And because this is the volume of the air that we are going to heat, we have to measure how much is the air inside. Now, we have here also, this is the graduated cylinder for measuring the volume of the air. We have here the stand. This one, for holding the conical flask into the stand. We have the 1,000 milliliter or 1 liter beaker. And then we have here the heater, guys. And lastly, of course, always the thermometer. Now, how do we do that, guys? To do the Charles law, first thing, we need to find the volume of the air inside the conical plus. It is not 250 because 250 is up to here only. The air is occupying the whole uh, uh, conical flask up to here. So, we will measure we will measure the volume of the air by pouring water here like this. Until it fills up up to the rim. Okay. Assuming that one now. After which we have to transfer it here to measure. So we need to be a little careful guys. And then there. That's it. And then we measure. Kindly measure guys. Can I have the tissue please? May I have the tissue? Thank you. So we need to now we need to dry this up to make sure that there is no moisture inside. To make sure that everything inside is all air, all power. There. Okay, guys. And then we put it here, guys. Oops, sorry, sorry about that. And then put it here. After which. We hold this uh, conical flask using this one. Sorry about that uh, almost accident, guys. Huh? Sorry about that. Like this. All right, guys? Now, before you do that, to make sure that the air will not escape, we have to close this. And to make sure that we can witness or we can see how the air expands, we need to use an expander, which at this moment we are using a balloon. So, a balloon expander... Do it like this, guys. There. Will somebody hold this one? Okay, thank you. There. There it is. Okay, that's good enough. There it is. So the air is trapped inside, guys. And then we clamp. We clump it, guys, there. We clump it. There it is. Now it's clumped. Properly clumped. A little more. A little more. There. There it is. And then we put it here. Until it gets inside the beaker. There. That's good enough. And then we put the water. We return the water there. Enough to... We put the water enough until it is immersed in water. There it is. It is immersed in water. There. So it is now immersed in water. There it is. There. So, the conical flask is immersed in water, guys. And see from there, see? It's immersed in water there. There it is. So we are going to hit the water, guys. We're going to hit the water. 
And simultaneously, when the water is heated, it is also heating the air inside the conical flask. So, at a certain temperature, we're in this one, expanded, okay, has already expanded, you can select a certain temperature. So we can connect this one now, guys. Uh, can you stop it? I'll get a, uh, an adapter. This is 220, right? Yeah, this is 220. Okay, and then we heat it. There it is. It's heating up, guys. Okay? We, would you like to wait for a longer time? Would you like to wait for it or no? Only no, that? So that's how to do it. Until you get the temperature wherein, wherein the balloon is expanded. Actually, you can, you, you can get any temperature. Okay, guys, the most important thing here is the initial temperature. The initial temperature of the Hawa. Now, uh, we did not get the initial temperature of the Hawa, right, guys? We did not. But it is not a problem, actually. You don't have to worry about that because the temperature of the Hawa, you can, you can actually measure by, by using an ordinary therm thermometer. Do we have any ordinary thermometer? That, yeah, that one, that one. Give me that one. Here you go, here you go. Give it to me. So, you can use this to find the initial temperature of the power. So, if I have here, for example, an initial temperature of, let's say, 24. It's actually 20, yeah, 23 here. That is the temperature of the air inside. Okay, guys? So, no, nothing to worry about. And then, while heating this up, guys, while heating this up, until you wait for the time that this is uh, expanded, like that, and then get the temperature. After which, guys, you can turn this off now. You can remove this now. And then, remove it there. There. Done. That is for number three. For number four, guys, 